So for this Halloween tutorial, I'm creating a ghost-like strangled 20s flapper girl. I'm going to block my eyebrows out, which I'm pretty bad at, but at least you'll get the idea. I'm taking an ordinary water-based glue stick onto my eyebrows and I brush them upward so they lay flat against my forehead. Then I'm applying an orange concealer on top to avoid making them appear blue after putting the white stuff on. You can also use some orange eyeshadow for this. That might work out better actually. To make my face white pale, I'm taking the white face paint and mixing it with my lightest foundation. White face paint tends to be so thick and it usually makes my skin crack, so this works better for my skin and it also doesn't make the face appear clown-like. I don't know what brand the white cream paint is from, but ordinary clown paint should work. I have the rest of the products listed down below. I'm creating more hollow eyes using grey eyeshadow in my crease and then I'm going in with purple eyeshadow too. Purple, pink and red will be my main colors here. Then I'm using the same colors to my cheekbones to create hollow cheeks. The palette that I'm using for grey, purple and black is the Warm Spectrum palette from Soeva. I'm taking some hot pink colored blush from NYX and I'm really blushing it up on my cheeks here. I'm using a white shimmery shade from that Suaiva palette and apply it on the center of my lids and the inner corners of my eyes. Then I'm going in with that pink blush around that white shade. And then I'm going in on the very edges of the pink with the shade Muse from my Venus Grunge palette. I'm also adding some grey and purple underneath my eyes. Then I'm going in with a lot of black eyeshadow underneath my eyes and around my crease creating kind of a cut crease, halo eye or whatever I should call it. And then I shade it all out. I kind of reapply the colors until I get the contrast that I want. I'm applying some powder to my lips and my lips were really dry at the moment and that's kind of the look I'm going for. Then I'm taking the pink blush from NYX and slightly shading the center of my lips with my fingers and onto my cupid's bow as well. I'm also going in with some of that red shade Muse from the Venus palette and I'm slightly putting it on the inside of my lips. Then I'm taking a black liquid liner and I'm giving myself a fake mole on my cheekbone and I'm also using this to create some 20s eyebrows. They came out kind of bad because my eyebrows weren't flat enough but it's fine, maybe they should look kind of freaky. Then I'm going to create my strangled neck from the bead necklace so I'm taking the purple shadow and shade a rough line horizontally. Then I'm going in with some of that pink in the middle and after that I'm taking some of that red shadow and shade some thin lines of when the necklace had been pulled. I'm also adding some dots to resemble the beads.
to do a quick messy fox bob for a more 20s look I'm taking a flapper like headband over my head and then I'm teasing my hair for a tussled look Then I'm just taking sections of hair and tug it in the headband and I pin it securely with some bobby pins In the very end, I'm adding some freaky contact lenses and after that some black mascara. I was actually going for total white out lenses, but the ones I had had dried out, which I was so bummed about, so these had to do. And that's the finished look. I really hope you guys like this tutorial. I'm uploading two Halloween looks every week on Tuesdays and Fridays until Halloween. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more Halloween tutorials and thank you for watching!